Okay, it is misty today. So I was reading a sheriff's thing on that shooting the other night. Uh, and uh, it just says a female was killed, but the people shot up houses and cars. Because I'm telling you, there was a ton of shots when I heard it, if that was the very same one. That's bad. But anyway, we are in Destin, Florida. Some guy claiming to be homeless is walking around with a dog and a backpack to every single customer in the Walmart parking lot asking for money for some chow. And uh, he even asked me, it's like, huh? tell the fake beggars. The real ones don't ask. And if they were really real, they wouldn't still be standing there hours later and every single day with a little cardboard sign saying, we'll work for food and that all that kind of stuff don't let them fool you. the real homeless are those people pushing that cart around with their worldly belongings that never asks for a penny so it is 55 degrees today it's about 11 15 in the morning Gas is going up every day. Fill your tank. Now today, it will be 60 degrees. It might get a little bit closer to 70. And then tonight, will be about 28 degrees. And then it's scheduled to rain from about noon till about 4. So, and it, you can tell it's humid down because all the mist... That just the humans extremely high because the water's in here. So low clouds, whatever. But anyway, six ninety-five local cotton shrimp. A ton of people, absolutely a ton. And dude, these tourists. I went to Walmart yesterday, and I had somebody right up my butt. Joanne Fabrics had somebody right up my butt. And, uh, and then at the Walmart gas station in Destin, and I had some dude just right up my butt. He had Mississippi Tag when he walked out the door. It was like, these tourists that come from these lockdown states and come to Florida and have zero respect. I got a, a guy I hired two years ago, just died. Just died Friday, has been in the hospital for two months. And uh, he didn't care about the social distancing and all that. He just went on and he got it. Killed him. Did not come back out. I just heard yesterday. As I knew he was in the hospital for a long time, I thought, boy, I wonder if he's still in the hospital. He got out. I thought maybe he had got out, but no, he didn't. He passed away on Friday from Corona. Shame. Life is a horrible thing to waste. Wear a mask. Do the social distancing six foot rule. Because the life you save. 
might be your very own. Not to mention somebody else's. And the Corona shots are becoming more available every day. Uh, but I'm going to tell you, they aren't like the previous vaccines or inoculations for other illnesses where, you know, 99% won't get it. That's not what it is. It, it reduces the chances of getting it and reduces the symptoms if you get it. That's all it does. They don't have a total cure for it. So, yeah. or you, you know it's chemical warfare, so this could be a tough one. But at least they're striving to get that done. Thank God for the Trump administration to get that rolling.
the city ordinance doesn't allow a lot of that stuff. That's why they're so strict about it. It's Dustin and San Dustin Walmart. And because people trash the parking lot and they come in there and take up 14 parking spaces and put their levelers down and crack up the asphalt. They empty their sewage and everything else and trash in the parking lot. And uh, they just don't permit it. So something here is going on. NPC Panhandle. Man, you people need to get out of the street. some sort of function there at the convention center. Sure miss the old original Sammy's that used to be right here to the right. This empty parking lot. The architecture of the building was very interesting and it was a total drive around thing. It was really neat. RVs today. Still a lot of them around. I come down for the holiday. Today's holiday. And I guess yesterday was Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day to all of you. I missed that. So that place, it, it, she was in such a big hurry to put me out with sheriff's order in five days, and I paid rent. Uh, guess what? She still hasn't sold it, much less rented it. I needed work. It was old. It was dated. Stuff, a lot of stuff messed up that really needed to be replaced, especially the tile and the carpet, which I told her that. Day I went to go rent it, and it was original tile and carpet from like 40 years. She was like, I'm not putting any money into it, I just want to sell it. So, a lot of good that did her, she lost the revenue all this time.
can't hijack my deposit. Thousand bucks. Previous landlord sent me a check, but it, God, it took like six weeks. But he had a special reserve account for all deposits, and uh, he didn't get the interest on it, but he did. But uh, uh, he sent me a check for my deposit, and then I opted for a couple more days uh, to steam clean the carpets because I have steam cleaners. I just do that. I'm just that way. I don't paint, steam clean, you know, clean curtains, whatever. I live in Immaculate. And, uh, so he, he just deducted for those couple of days, which was fine. I asked his permission first, and he was fine with it. And, uh, so I got that money, and I signed that check over to her towards... out there. That's for sure. Playground Auto Service. They totaled a Cadillac of mine. Because they didn't know what they were doing. <laughs> Over a flat tire. A flat tire. same car I had, but from a different state, and I think his mad girlfriend thought she was cutting his tire, cut mine instead, right before closing, and, uh, the club that I was working at, and, uh, I had to wait for these guys forever in the cold until they showed up, and they just made a mess, they were playing with this car all the way till daylight. I got a video of that too and they really trashed it up because they did not know what they were doing. And the insurance company wrote it off as a total. It's pretty bad when you pick up a car. You don't know what you're doing and I let you know in advance. I've got to have a flatbed. And uh, you don't know what you're doing. You don't bring the proper equipment. Severely damaged your vehicle. That's not a good thing. But the insurance paid, so that was okay. degrees already. Yay. Beyond me why it's going to be like almost 70 today or something and then it's going to be like 26 tonight or 28. <laughs> That's amazing that extreme temperature variance. It's amazing how many people are playing with their friends driving. 
That's just so hard to believe. So there weren't hardly any people at the gym last night. And uh, I'm not sure if they're going to be open 20 barbers today or not. Because of the holiday. Normally they would be up 24 hours, but there were very few people came last night. There's quite a few people here this morning. Yep, there's quite a few. Okay, gotta find the policeman. I'm not gonna beat the living crap out of your car. They still get it anyway, though. I'll tell you, they come back back 40. Some banana head gonna drive around it with a trailer or something. Alright you guys. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Love you. Thanks for riding with me.